Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and today we're taking a look at Big Pharma. Now this is a game that I actually had access to um, quite some time ago, but I never really got a chance to look at it. Uh, so now we're doing it now. So what is Big Pharma? This is a game published by, or developed by, Positech. Uh, that name could sound familiar to you. Uh, if you're familiar with games such as, I believe, Gratuitous Space Battles, um, which I actually quite like. So, Big Pharma is a little bit different to that. Uh, this is a sort of business management um, puzzle game. And I mean puzzle game. If you look in the background of the menu here, this gives you a brief glimpse of what you're actually probably going to be doing. So, you manage a pharmaceutical company where you produce various drugs for particular uh, cures or treatments. And there's various stages from getting the actual ingredient to the finished product, and that's basically what you're in charge of. So we're gonna have, have a go at this, and the normal game has a lot of these sort of um, missions that you can complete. And the tutorial down here, now this is the Steam version, I have actually completed much more than this in the pre-release version, but that progress obviously doesn't transfer over. So I've gotten up to here just to kind of check if there's anything different really in the tutorial. Side note, the tutorial is a little bit lengthy. Uh, it's very text heavy and a little bit confusing. Not, I'm not a fan of the tutorial, but just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So, this is the very first one, and you have to supply some, let's just pause the game there, uh, some painkiller treatments. You only need to make one, so you already have the ingredient imported here, and these are in and out trays. So, in the actual game, of course, you can import or export from the same point, but getting it from there to the, the actual finished product to export, that's where the actual game comes in. So, this is the tutorial. So scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling. That's the first tutorial. Now it's not that this is a very difficult game, it gets very complex, but the actual mechanics are very simple. This is a very text heavy tutorial, and I'm not a fan of text heavy tutorials, especially those that give it to you in one big chunk like this. What we're actually seeing here can be summed up very, very simply, so let's let's just minimize that. Right, so we need one painkiller um, treatment. What we have here is something called Effervescent Jackier Distillate, which is a very, very fancy word, of course. Um, but straight off we can see what this actual ingredient does. So it doesn't actually do anything on its own. None of these bars are activated yet. So it has a painkiller effect, which will, of course, this is the value it will add to the f finished product when we activate this. And it will be the same regardless of the actual um, concentration that it's at. This is a side effect. So the side effect is it induces nausea at a certain concentration. So ideally, what we want is one higher than where it is right now. So we get one higher here, which is, I believe, five, a concentration of five, it'll have a painkiller effect without the nausea. Anything higher than that, and we have that happening there. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. So what we actually need to do then is we need something that will increase the concentration. So here we have a dissolver, which decreases it by one, and an evaporator, which increases it by one. So what we need to do then is place the machine somewhere. So everything works by a conveyor belt, right? So we have our belts here, which is a simple click and drag function, such as that. And right click will cancel. And we need to place this here. Now, of course, we use the mouse wheel to scroll uh, through the different rotations. But we need some way that will be the most efficient way possible. So we could place this anywhere we want, but we need to output it there. So looks like we could probably put it here. So that's $600 out of the bag, and it has, if we click it, we have a processing cost. So every time it goes through here, it'll be $10. However, in order to make that into an actual packaged product, we need a pill printer. So we have our processing and then we have our packing essentially here. So we need these two machines to kind of be in line with each other. So we can actually move that now that we've placed it somewhere there and put our pill printer somewhere 
here, possibly. Now, of course, this is just a tutorial, but what you want is a system that is as efficient as possible. So, the less amount of space that you have in between the machines, the faster it goes through. Each one of these movements is counted as a single day in game time, by the way. So, you'll be charged every time it moves along. So, you want to have as little movement as possible. So, if I connect that up, we can now import product. When I unpause it, so we're going to see the product come in through here. It's going to go into there. And now we have the effect here. So we can see right down here the full breakdown of everything. The raw material, that's the import of this item here, is $24. That actually can change over time. And we have the processing cost, which is the evaporator here. And then we have our pill printing. Product so the, the total profit here is $63 per shipment. And of course we can name it as well. So we can actually name this... Uh, we can name this Pain Busters if we want to. It doesn't really matter. But there we go. It's That is the basics of the game. You can actually see a variable price as well as this goes through. So it's $117, but here it actually quotes a $63 profit. That is the total combined here, but in the full game, outside of the tutorial I mean, the market will cause the prices to go up and down. So that's something to bear in mind. The game can get very complex, so let's jump back out of this. Alright, so we're going to jump into a beginner match here. And what we can actually see here is the uh, company info. So we can make our full company here and we can scroll through a bunch of different portraits with names on them. These are purely cosmetic and uh, we can go with Mr. Chan here because he seems to be like a guy that works in the factory. And of course company name can make it anything you want. Uh, I've named mine she, her, biomorphics. If anyone gets that reference let me know down in the comments. So what we can actually do, let's just pause that. So we started with with 50 grand over here, and we can buy more land. Now let's just have a look at the full amount of land that we have in this particular mission. Now of course in free build, which is the sandbox mode, you can make it any size that you want and do anything that you want. But this is the actual game that we're trying to do, and um, I believe after you've completed the mission you can actually just continue playing if you really want to. So we're not going to buy anything just yet, what we're going to have a look at is the actual in and out spots. Now these like I've said, are both directions, so we can import from here and export from there, or vice versa if we want to. So let's click on one of those and see what ingredients we have. Now these are the ones that are available, these are undiscovered. Right? So you can actually get more ingredients as you go along. Same to do with research as well, there's a full text tree, text tree, text tree, that's not actually a thing, uh, text tree over here which has a bunch of different machines that you can unlock as well, so we can actually pack multiple drugs in one and ship them as well. And we've got different ways of processing them too. So there's a lot of things to do and that of course is for your actual business, so we can actually have more things available. For this particular mission, the beginner one, we don't really need that, so we can actually hire scientists to go and do that. I might actually do that after we have um, one of our uh, drugs being actually shipped and have some sort of profit going, because it is an easy trap to fall into to try and get something way too early. So, right, what we have here is there are two different options. We have one to cure colds or reduce the symptoms of colds, or we have one here that removes warts. A side effect of it is that it inflames skin. Seems a little bit counterproductive, doesn't it? But there doesn't appear to be any range that we can actually remove that at, which is a little bit strange. And this requires an ionizer that we don't have yet. So all of these ingredients, by the way, if we go to the cures tab, actually upgrade to something completely different. So this wart removal <laughs> ingredient here actually becomes a female contraceptive, which is something entirely different. Um, and with an ionizer, if you pass it through that during the processing, it will actually become that. Now this is the first time I've actually had something with that high level in there. Normally it takes the dis dissolver or an, uh, 
or uh, evaporator to actually just do that. But this is the first time it takes the second tier technology to do it, so something new there. And same thing here with our cold medicine becomes an antibiotic. So if we upgrade that, then we have a whole new range to worry about. So I think let's keep this simple. And let's import the this one. The bipoxy gem. Right, so this, all we have to do then is to increase its concentration twice. That will allow us to have... the level that we actually need so we just get that with a pill printer there are different things you can get as well you can have it made into a cream as well if you want to which is has a different effect now i want two pill printers here because that will allow us to to maximize our output and that's kind of what we want so that's that there hopefully i'm right about the concentration there so let's speed things up you can see there it changes into this one. Still not quite there yet. And there we go. That's the basic of it being made there. Product name required. So we can call this sore throat relief. Yeah, why not? And uh, now that's actually producing money. So we can actually see at a glance our actual cash flow here. This will vary depending on how efficient your machines are actually working. If there are any chokes here, like for example right now, that's actually slowing down production right there, this profit number will actually drop. Not ideal. But this is the processing side, so if we really want to, we can even just push another ingredient through here a competitor has released a new product and get that printed there too it will stress the machines a little bit more but we can actually just push them out anyway so that's another thing that we can do we can buy more space and so on so but this is the very basic of it and if you let's just go back to the menu here of course the I do want to point out there is also a custom game option which you can go into and you can actually have all sorts of different things. Your research locations, number of ingredients that you have, number of starting ingredients and so on. You can have loads of things. And you can... There's a lot of options here. Genuinely a lot of options. You can make all sorts of things. Which I like. So there's a lot of things you can do with that. So let's head back to the menu and just show you the background again of how complex things can get but this is a very quick look at Big Pharma it's now available on Steam for $25 or your original equivalent thank you very much for watching my name is Panzer and I'll see you next time